Hello once more. Um, today I'm going to show you how to get the victory rifle like I said I would in the pickpocket strategy. Right now I am just west-northwest of Rock Breaker's Last Gas. Gonna, as always, I reference Megaton to it. Uh, technically, it's the Megaton Ruin, since I'm an evil character this to play through. Uh, basically, perfectly northwest of it. Um, just go on a direct line with this little bridge. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so... There's Rockbreaker's last gas. You go up the hill and around. I have dog meat with me for a reason. Um, and then you'll see this shack. It's called the sniper. No, oh, the abandoned shack, but basically a sniper shack. Let's go in. In here, you'll find two very small rad roaches named Fluffy and Jitters, which dog meat will promptly kill feel very bad for them. So, that is right there is where Victor Rifle is in that locker. I do not have 100 lockpick, which is why I brought dog meat. I need you to find me something for me. Find me a weapon. This might take a few tries because there are a lot of weapons in this shack. I just got a bottle of cat mine. Weapon. Chinese pistol, one of the lowest damaging things, but one of the most valuable, wait for, wait, and right there, he gave me the victory rifle. I'm over encumbered. Victory rifle. I don't need a super sledge. A lot of tin cans. This place has a pre-war book, 14 bobby pins, darts, ammo, and almost all the stuff is locked, so come back at a later level, or have dog meat search for ammo. Some food, and quite a few skill books, and most importantly, the Keller Family Transcript 4 or 5. But you don't even need these if you watch my other walkthrough telling you exactly how to get the experimental Merv without getting the transcripts. So yeah, the Victor Rifle does more damage, has twice the durability of a regular sniper rifle, and every time you get a critical, you'll knock your opponent down. Um, I'm very evil, so apparently a regulator just spawned. Wow, I really am horrible. I missed. 